Hello, it's Matt Easton with Multifamily Traffic, the number one apartment marketing company in the industry. On today's episode of Ask Matt, I'm going to be covering our list method for managing Google AdWords campaigns. Whether you manage your own Google AdWords campaigns or work with a third party, this list method will help you maximize the amount of hot, qualified calls you're getting from renters to the leasing office and minimize the amount of spend you have on these campaigns so you can lease more apartments with less effort and less spend from the marketing department. Over the last decade, the experts at Multifamily Traffic have developed the gold standard for managing AdWords campaigns in order to get you the most amount of clicks with the least amount of spend from only qualified renters. Apartments are very different from other products and services advertised with Google AdWords. And in this video, I'm gonna cover our list method for managing apartment AdWords campaigns. By remembering the list, L-I-S-T, you'll be putting your AdWords campaign and your property in the best position to sign leases with the least amount of money. You'll also be protecting yourself, your property, your staff, and your residents from potential safety issues which may arise from negligence in your AdWords campaign. Using the multifamily traffic list method will help you double, triple, and even quadruple the amount of conversions you have to calls from hot qualified renters into your leasing office. Fortunately for you, many of your competitors are not using these best practices that multifamily traffic has made famous over the last decade. Okay, so without further ado, here is multifamily traffic's list method for managing your AdWords campaigns. Local, the L in list stands for local. It's leasing 101. Your best prospect is right across the street. You want your campaigns to focus on local prospects. Yet so many AdWords campaign managers run nationwide campaigns for apartments. The logic they have for doing so is to capture people from out of state looking to move to the area. This logic is great if you're running an SEO campaign, which is organic rankings or free traffic. But when it comes to AdWords, it's your money that's being spent every time somebody clicks on an ad. When used properly, AdWords is a very powerful surgical instrument that you can target only local renters who can call the leasing office that same day and sign a lease. There is absolutely no reason to use AdWords to target renters that are thousands of miles away. There are more than enough people locally if you use Google AdWords properly. When you're spending your money to send ads out across the nation, there's an opportunity cost. Number one, you have to pay for each of those clicks, whether they are across the street or across the country. Number two, for every click that comes in from somebody that is across the country, there's an opportunity cost of not showing that ad to somebody local that is ready to come down to the leasing office that day. There is no apartment community in any market that cannot lease 100% of their open units by only showing ads to local qualified renters that can come and sign a lease that day. Showing national ads can waste valuable budget dollars and the leasing agent's time. The traffic on Google is virtually unlimited if you know how to use the power of Google AdWords and hyper-target only hot, qualified local renters ready to sign a lease. This will without a doubt get you in a much better position than running a national campaign. The example in this video was filmed from a search based in our Denver, Colorado headquarters. We searched Seattle and Portland, and in both cases found properties that paid for us to click on their ad from hundreds of miles away from the property. Many of these properties were also offering up to six weeks free rent. When you use AdWords to its full potential, you can target the hottest local renters that are the best fit, all while spending a lot less with Google and reducing your need for giveaways and promotions like six weeks free. Ideal, the I in list stands for ideal. If you are managing an AdWords campaign and you are showing ads to someone that is not an ideal fit for your community, or your community is not an ideal fit for that person, you are wasting your valuable budget dollars, your leasing agent's time, and that prospect's time. 
Pay-per-click is extremely effective. It can also be extremely expensive if you use that shotgun approach. If you have the budget and can afford to show the community to 1,000 prospects, you should use the power of Google AdWords to surgically strike, only showing that ad to prospects that are an ideal fit for the community. You want to make sure that your ad dollars are being spent on only hot, qualified, ideal renters that your on-site staff can close quickly and easily. All right, so here's a perfect example of what I mean when I'm talking about showing your ad to ideal prospects. We searched the term affordable apartments in Miami, and we were shown an ad for a swanky Coral Gables community that anyone with big bucks to spend would love to live at. Not only did this community violate the L for local rule by showing us in Denver, Colorado, the ad for a community in Coral Gables, it actually gets a double L violation because we searched Miami, not Coral Gables, and the property is located in Coral Gables and not Miami. So there you go, double L violation. But they also violated the I rule by wasting money showing a luxury community to renters looking for affordable and cheap apartments. Can you imagine how frustrated the on-site staff at this community may be? The marketing department gets clicks, so the budget is spent but they don't get any calls to the leasing office. For the few people that do call, the property manager is very frustrated on the phone because those people are looking for an affordable community. And without a doubt, they find out quickly that they can't afford that particular property. For the ones that just really aren't good about talking about their budget on the phone, they probably come down to the community, waste the leasing agent's time, apply for a unit, and don't qualify for the lease. It's got to be frustrating and devastating on the part of the marketing department because they're spending all of their budget and they're showing ads to people that quite simply can't afford and can't qualify to live at that community. Here's the most terrifying part. Chances are nobody, not the property manager, not the marketing department, not even the third party AdWords manager that they may be using knows that this is occurring. Let me be very clear here. The marketing department is not necessarily targeting affordable keywords in their search. I wish it was that simple. It would be as easy to call them and say, hey, don't show your ad to affordable people, but it's not. The most likely scenario here is that they don't understand the powerful yet complex algorithms that power Google AdWords. And they have absolutely no idea that the campaign they set up to market luxury apartments is now bleeding in to the affordable market. Unless you have over a thousand hours of hands-on experience managing apartment AdWords campaigns and a deep understanding of negative keywords, you will never know that this is happening in your AdWords campaign. So now the property managers are most likely being hammered by their regional managers for not hitting their numbers. Some may quit, others may get fired. All the while, the regionals are communicating back up to marketing and marketing is saying, hey, we've got the clicks, we're spending the dollars, it's those folks at the property that can't close these leads. What do you think the most logical explanation is to the community when they're constantly getting calls from people that can't afford to live at that property? They don't think there's a problem with the AdWords campaigns. They think the community is overpriced. So they start telling their regional, hey, we've got to reduce our rents. The regional starts saying, hey, I've got to fire some leasing agents and get some better closers in here. All the while, they probably meet in the middle and come up with some genius idea like six weeks free rent, which doesn't really solve anything if you're wasting your marketing dollars sending ads out to people that could not afford or qualify for the community, even if you gave them six months free rent. If this campaign followed our I rule and made sure that their ads focused only on ideal renters, the leasing office would only receive calls from hot, qualified renters that are a perfect fit for that community and can qualify for the lease. There you have it. The leasing agents are happy. They're getting calls from the right people. They're closing their units. The regional's off their back. And the marketing department is now the rock stars because they're feeding that property with the best possible prospects all the time. Safe. The S in lists stands for safe. 
Apartments are not like marketing t-shirts or cars or toys or restaurant reservations. This is very serious business. Your customers are residents that have to live at that community in a community. And it's probably a community that you spent tens of millions of dollars on to own or your owner is trusting you with the management of their multi-million dollar asset. You need to make sure that your AdWords campaign is doing everything possible to block traffic that is potentially unsafe for your residents, your staff, and your property itself. Most AdWords campaigns for apartments, even those managed by the largest REITs or the best Madison Avenue marketing campaigns, have no idea that they are buying unsafe traffic for that property. Sadly, it's all too commonplace to see even the best luxury communities running advertising campaigns that are appealing to felons, bringing in the exact type of traffic that they do not want to that community. Don't believe me? Go ahead and pause the video, go to Google, and type in Felon Friendly Apartments and then any city you want, whether that's Felon Friendly Apartments in Sacramento or Felon Friendly Apartments in St. Louis or Felon Friendly Apartments in Miami. Chances are, if you look at the ads in Google AdWords, you're gonna find some communities that don't belong. This happens because the team that's managing the apartment AdWords campaigns does not deeply understand Google's core algorithms or how to navigate them to make sure that they block this particular unsafe traffic. They have little or no experience at all managing apartment-based negative keywords or the term we coined at Multifamily Traffic, A-Banks. If you don't understand A-Banks and how to block these negative keywords, even your best luxury campaigns will end up targeting felons eventually. And again, the sad news with this is most likely nobody within the marketing department, the third party manager, the community manager has any idea whatsoever that their marketing dollars are being spent on attracting ex-convicts and felons to the community. Negative keywords are one of the most important yet underlooked settings in Google AdWords. They give you the opportunity to exclude your ad from being shown to similar yet unrelated searches. A perfect example of this is a luxury ad being shown for felon friendly apartments. It's similar, but unrelated, really, really unrelated. Negative keywords are considered to be one of the regular match types, but they are very, very different than their regular keyword counterparts. If you don't have a handle on A-Banks, apartment-based negative keywords, it may be time to reach out to a professional. Your safety, your resident's safety, your staff's safety, and the safety of your community may be at stake. Okay, so let's run through an example of how these unsafe keywords can get into an apartment campaign. In this example, I'm gonna show you this particular property in Austin. It's a luxury community that's missed the L, the I, and the S in list. The community is not following our local rule by showing the ad to prospects that are not local. Of course, I'm here in our Denver, Colorado office searching for luxury apartments in Austin and I'm able to see the ad. The community is not following our ideal rule by showing the ads to felons who are of course not the ideal prospects for this property that describes itself as high-end, clean, contemporary, and eco-friendly with a rich mix of facilities and services for business and recreation. I don't think they had felons and ex-convicts in mind when they built this property. The community is not following our safety rule by showing the ads to felons claiming that this luxury property has features, it is featuring felon friendly apartments in Austin. Can you imagine the frustration that some of these felons may see when they get to the community and find out that the screening process stops these felons from moving in? They are open to retaliation from upset and embarrassed candidates that came on site thinking they found a high end community for felons only to be turned away. If nothing else, the community is paying big money every month to show ads that attract attention from potentially unsafe renters. Okay, so lastly, the T in list stands for traffic. Multifamily traffic was founded over a decade ago. We use the term traffic because we know that the most common mistake management companies make is underestimating the amount of traffic needed to sign a lease. They get everything else right. 
They build the exact right community. They hire the best leasing staff in the world. But even the best leasing agent in the world cannot close three out of every four qualified leads. You need to maximize the amount of traffic so that you are giving your leasing agents as many at-bats as possible. Our philosophy is to give the leasing agents 10 times more than the amount of qualified leads they think they need to get the property to 100% occupancy. By doing this, leasing agents can shine. We give them only the hottest, most qualified opportunities, and we give them 10 times more than they thought they would ever need to get those units leased. By giving 10 times the amount of traffic, we allow leasing agents to become rock stars, regional managers to sign, and marketing departments to avoid going to owners for expensive promotions like six weeks free. I hope you are able to use multifamily traffic's list method in managing your AdWords campaigns, bringing you more hot qualified, local, ideal renters in huge volumes to your community so your leasing agents can knock it out of the park. If you have any questions at all or would like us to talk to you about managing your campaign for you, our website is www.multifamilytraffic.com and our corporate headquarters number is 888-683-5885. You can also reach me, Matt Easton, directly at 303-803-7372 and my email is m.easton, E-A-S-T-O-N, at multifamilytraffic.com. I'm Matt Easton, your friend in apartment marketing. Until next time, be great and lease those units.